My name is Chris Liu. In 2010, I suffered a spinal cord injury that left me paralyzed from the neck down. There's no preparation for a spinal cord injury. You wake up one morning, a physically fit, able-bodied person going about your life, and in the blink of an eye, your life is just completely transformed. You have no idea what's in store for you. When you're looking at paralysis and the potential permanence of that, that's a situation that's almost impossible to describe. But after a few weeks, there were signs of hope. Little twitches in a finger, movement in a leg. And when you're completely paralyzed, those are huge signs. But time in a rehab hospital is extremely limited. You have a matter of weeks of physical therapy, and then you're on your own. Insurance would allow eight weeks. That's just the way it is. My family and I did something about that. This is Lindsay, my therapist. Hi. This is her favorite part of the day because she gets to stretch behind us. Yeah. We found a nursing home and we got lucky. It was the one place we could find where we could continue some sort of therapy. Eventually, I could be upright again. I can run slowly. Pedal. I could move an arm. I could stand begin to take steps, but I needed so much more. And after four months, I traveled to a facility in Utah that understood neurologic recovery and had the resources and the experience to help me get my life back. It took two years for me to get where I am today, walking and independent. Recovery from neurologic injury is so incredibly slow. Every injury is different, and no recovery is the same, but much of that journey is similar for all who are hurt. Our goal is to bring a like-minded facility to Indianapolis and work toward becoming a part of the Reeve Foundation Neural Recovery Network. Right now, there's no facility in Indianapolis that provides continued access to locomotor training, a bodyweight supported treadmill to get them up and out of their chair to help retrain the nervous system and to have access to functional electrical stimulation bikes which use electricity to stimulate the muscles when the brain can't that can help with atrophy and circulation but this is about more than rehab it's also about providing a wellness center in addition to therapy where disabled individuals wounded veterans stroke survivors brain injury survivors can go to exercise to live a long, healthy, and happy life. If I wouldn't be here, I would probably still be just sitting at home, not doing anything, not having any more therapy, working on my strength. I've gained so much more feeling of like my whole body. When we got here, he could not sit up. He had no core muscles. They didn't work on any of those things back home. And when we came here, it was like, no, 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 there's a whole nother world. It's been more than anybody ever told us could happen. I mean, this place has just been amazing. Indianapolis is home to healthcare industry leaders, top-notch hospitals, and research facilities, but there's a void in long-term rehab options. Our community needs this. The disabled population needs this. And the people that will be hurt tomorrow or a year from now, the people that right now have no idea they'll be thrust into this world, they need this. Every family needs more help when they leave the hospital.